Hello everybody, um, meatloaf. I've been asked quite a few times to do a meatloaf. I've never done a meatloaf before. So I went online and I had a look at a few recipes and I thought, well, I want a nice cheap one that hopefully is going to be delicious. So I picked, yes, our favourite um, chef, good old Jamie Oliver. We picked his. So let's do his budget meatloaf. Right, this is everything I've got apart from potatoes because we're going to have some mash which I've already put in some water and um, we've got three carrots uh, chopped up washed and leave the skins on I've got uh, two small red onions uh, it says one brown onion but I've got red in so I'm using red one egg one two t heaped teaspoons of oregano some lean pork mince two garlic cloves roughly chopped and the other thing that I've changed is, it says red chilies. I've got green in, so I'm using green. Two chopped tomatoes, two tins, bit of salt and bit, bit, bit of pepper. Simple. First things first is, oh, and two pieces of stale bread. It's not exactly stale, but it's been out, I left it out a couple of hours, so it hardened up a little bit, because I ain't really got any stale on it. So first things first is get your mince in your bowl, add in two heaped teaspoons of oregano. Now with your bread, you see just run it under some uh, water, I think that's a bit stale so it livens it up a little bit. Which I've done, some salt and pepper to taste I suppose, I'm only using table soup, so salt that's all I've got, some pepper. Right, you, you, bread in and um, give it all a mix until you get like a loaf shape like so there we go um it's a little bit wet i could have chopped the bread up more, a lot more than that couldn't i but hey up we'll see eh we'll see what happens i've just got my pan warming up now ready now we want a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan so we've got it in get it all browned up on each side first I want to keep checking it, making sure it's, uh, if I try and turn it over, it's going to be the fun part, isn't it? I don't know how I'm going to do that. It's hard with the camera in front of you, I'm going to try and knock the camera. Oh yeah, and it did say it is being done all on the hob. I don't think I told you that. Now you want to get your onions and your carrots in with this. Fry it up in that juice. Uh, for a few minutes. Now get your garlic in and your chilies. Get them 30 seconds. You know what I forgot? There's supposed to be cheese inside there. I didn't put any cheese in it. Uh, I knew there was some it. And your tomatoes, I'm absolutely useless sometimes. Forgot the cheese. Oh, dearie me. Cheese will probably bound it together a bit as well. Put the lid on there now. I'm just going to get my spuds on. Yeah, that's the cheese I bought. Uh, West Country Extra Mature to put inside it. Well, I completely forgot. I have done a little bit more to put on top. But hey, up, hey. I'm going to give this a little mix. Smelling nice. I think it's going to fall apart, though. I think it's going to fall apart. But I'm just, uh, I just keep basting it like this, guys, and just putting the stuff over. Um, I'm expecting it to just taste a bit like mince, to be honest with you. Because I ain't put no cheese in the middle. Now I'm going to put my cheese that I forgot to put inside on the top for the last few minutes get it all melted okay guys i think we're about ready um i've just mashed me mash because there's a mash is just mash ain't it there it is um i've got a funny smell in the kitchen as well i don't know what it is but it's a funny smell now i've got to try and get it out somehow um how am i going to do this then how am i going to do it i know it's going to break Try not to get it to break, but it might not actually, it might not. 
Oh, splattered a bit. And there's all the sauce that is on, on top uh, to go on your spuds and that, I suppose. Made a mess, I mean, oh. A little bit of mash first in the middle. And let's cut some of this up and see. Cut both ends first. Yeah, I needed the cheese in the middle, didn't I? I needed the cheese in the middle. I can't really give this a good review now for Jamie, can I? Because I didn't put the cheese in it. And we'll get some sauce on top. Well, there we go. I mean, it looks hearty. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, so. Hmm. What do you reckon? Let me have a closer look. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Nat's sure either. I'm not sure. It's disgusting. It's disgusting now. <laughs> is it disgusting? Is it? Oil. Let me try. It's my fault because I didn't put the cheese in the middle. Don't think cheese would make anything. Don't, no. Mmm. I did get a funny smell when I was cooking it. I don't know what it is. Look at that. I just want to try, let me just try some of that without any potato or anything. I can grab some. There it is. No, it's all fell off. That's not right, is it, that? That's not right, is it? What is it? Nasty. Someone's put seasoning in it or something. Oh, weird. Whack it out. It's the meat. It's the mince. It's it's not that. It's the meat. It's the mince. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with the mince. Mm. No, that's not eating it. You're eating it, no. That's not eating it. What's that, Nasty. The potatoes are alright. <laughs> I don't even like the tomato bit on top, do you? No, don't like any of it. Oh, well, there you go. Black. I can't really give it a good review because I forgot to put the cheese in the middle. I Which, think putting cheese in the middle would have made any difference. Well, it wouldn't have made it a bit more thingy, wouldn't it? No. A bit more... It just made it gooey, that's it. Yeah, but you still get the cheesy flavour instead of having a plain. It's just meats, isn't it? That's all it is, isn't it? There's nothing there. Oh well, I'll eat it. Anyway, there you go. Rubbish. I wouldn't even, I'd probably get a four for effort. Four or five for effort. That's about it. But I can't really give it a good score because I forgot to put the cheese in. My mistake. I say, I'm your old food guy. Get a like, get a subscribe. Till the next time. That thinks it's disgusting. So, bye bye.